Have you ever noticed we arrive at our destination without realising how we got there? We're on autopilot. All we notice is what is vital to get us to our destination. We miss so much. We're so wrapped up with what's going on in our heads. During the journey, there may have been people rolling hills or city blocks. We get really good at not noticing what is around us. I remember as a child I lived six hours away from my larger family and friends, way before there were mobile phones. I used to sit in the car and stare out of the window. To pass the time, I started paying attention to the cars around me. I played games to identify every car on the road, the shapes of the lights, the sight of half the car. All I needed was a brief glimpse. I was slowly learning to see. Looking back now, I was still blind until I picked up a pencil in my first drawing class. This is where I really learnt about the physical world. I tried to understand it by painting what I saw onto a flat surface and onto paper or a canvas. It's easy to find out how hard it is. What you need to do is try to look at a bicycle and draw it. You immediately start to notice all the things you've not seen before. From the shapes, the forms, the colours, the tones. Life is one big mystery. Ten years later when I was studying art, I started visiting the art galleries in London. Francis Bacon stood out as a painter who communicated what I felt. I started to notice how he overcame problems. I noticed how Bacon dealt with detail by simplifying it, covering large areas of the canvas by using flat colour, forming positive and negative shapes, leading me to further develop my curiosity. At that moment, I realised I found a way to communicate what I wanted to say. Instead of zoning out and missing what's around us, leading me to make paintings that say you don't see that well and encouraging a deeper look. I started to take great pleasure in noticing and drawing attention to what's been ignored, with my intention to help others to develop the tools of their mind. My intention is to make you feel a connection like you're truly learning to see, just like I felt in the car when I picked up a pencil. By purchasing one of my paintings, it feels like you're supporting and collaborating with me as I try to articulate the unknown. With your help, you're participating in the creative process, helping the completion of my future projects. As I go forward, I love to write about my journey as an artist. I want for once and for all to destroy the myth of the starving artist, helping to show a way forward for other artists. Through my paintings, I want to make life visible, forcing you to see on a grand scale. In return, I want to give you a deeper connection and make you pay attention so you can see the beauty in the mundane and see things from a different perspective, one you haven't seen before.